Hey guys, this is our freezing rain that we're having. And you can see we have snow. Well, it's actually ice, it's not even snow. Looks like snow, but it's probably snow on top of ice. Excuse the condition of our backyard, but we haven't obviously been able to do anything out here. Uh, but yeah, stuff on the roof. Oh boy, even the doggies won't go out. Did you bark at Mama to go out? You didn't like it, did you? So I don't like them cold weathers. Huh? Oh, Ginger. Oh, Ginger. Why are you shaking? You're not outside. Y'all made a mess of this couch. You gonna get under these covers and stay warm? Huh? Silly girls. Mama gonna go make some bracelets. Okay? You hold down the fort while I make bracelets. All right, guys. Making myself some hot cocoa. If you've ever had this Starbucks cocoa, it is delicious. I highly recommend it. Hey, friends and family. Welcome to Marcy Creates. This is Marcy. And oh, look. Look at this tray of happiness. We're going to go through it just briefly. Uh, as this is day four of our Valentine Jewelry Marathon. And I am doing bracelets. I finished the earrings, which I will show you. And uh, we're going to get cracking on some bracelets. I made myself some hot cocoa, as you saw, uh, to power through. Tonight, I think we will make one bracelet on camera. Um, and then I will probably make another one off camera uh, tonight. And then tomorrow, we'll do some more. More about that in just a minute. But really quickly, I'm going to show you the... Now, let's see. So last night, we made this, uh, this necklace had these earrings. Stay tuned, because I made a bracelet to go with that, which I will show you in just a second. We made, I think this one, the evil eye. We did some, did we or did we not? We may not have. Honestly, I don't remember. But anyway, here's the earrings to go with this evil eye necklace. We'll do a whole reveal later, of course. Yeah, I know we did this one. Uh, pretty sure. And then these are the earrings with the hearts to go with that. Very fun. Uh, let's see, we did the copper hearts with the copper. This has been everyone's favorite. I do love it. I think I remarked I was going to keep this for myself, but I probably won't. I have tons of jewelry. I don't, I don't need to be keeping anything else, <laughs> but there's that. And then, oh yeah, we did this one. Love that one too. And these earrings to match. Those turned out really nice. And let's see. Ah, we did this garden. This one also was a favorite, I think. A lot of people really love this pendant. I did too. Pretty sure I got that at Michael's one, one time or two, a year or two ago. And we made these earrings to go with that. Really pretty pastel. And then, I don't know. Ah, uh, no, we did not. Okay, so here we, we're getting into the ones that I did not make on camera. So, let's 
Ooh, it's getting tangled. Let me just scoot these out a little bit. No peeking. No peeking. <laughs> More cha-cha glitter. So here is the other really pretty um, pastel. And I found some, oops, doesn't want to cooperate. Of course not. We're on camera. <laughs> I found some more pastel beads. I love these frame beads in the heart shape. And I just picked up the really pretty, I didn't have any more of these little roses, but I did find some check glass that I thought coordinated nicely, the little flowers. So got these pretty earrings to go with this. Very nice. And let me just move these over. This guy wasn't quite finished. I think the last time I showed it to you, this is that really pretty hammered heart in the really bright colors. And I made these earrings. And now I ran out of these beads, but I did find some that were super close in a different shape. So I like the way these earrings turned out to go with that. So that's set number two earrings. And then the evil eye, oops, the evil eye necklace with the black and the gold. I went and it's got the little graphic uh, details in it. I made these earrings. I picked up the window beads and I added another little graphic and I found these really pretty, very light blue hearts. So we've got that coordinating. And then last, but certainly not least, our joy pendant. This is the loud. Now this one I redid, we had a toggle. I put a toggle clasp on this and it was falling. So I kept the soft flex wire out because I wanted it to show. And I made another one of my little stations with the seed beads, but the toggle was coming apart. And the last thing I want is somebody to wear this and have it come off. And then this ceramic pendant hit the floor and crack or break. I just, uh, I wanted to make a more secure, um, we're gonna add some chain or something on the back of this, but I wanted that to be more secure so whoever's wearing it doesn't lose this pendant. But these are some crazy earrings I made to go with this. And I love them. But these little flowers on here, on the little silver bead, pick up the little petals in the pendant, I thought. And then again, I ran out of some of the beads, but I went through my stash and I found things that were comparable colors and I just kind of went with the whole flower theme. You can see this looks like a little flower. And then we've got, of course, flowers on the pendant, I mean, on the coin bead. And then I just did a little bead cap here to make another little flower looking thing. And I really like the way those turned out. I think they're really cute and they pick up the colors nicely in the necklace. And that turned out to be a really cute set. So that's what I finished on the earrings. And so let me get a little bit set up so I can show you the bracelet I made today. And then we're gonna make another one on camera to go with that really pretty copper and blue that everybody likes. So stay tuned. Okay. So this is the necklace that I worked on today for a bracelet. Um, this really pretty regal looking, I'm calling it the Queen of Hearts necklace because it 
reminds me of the Queen of Hearts on in Alice in Wonderland. Uh, and I did a memory wire bracelet. Let me move these over just a little. But as you can see, I went through my stash and I got more of the beads that I used plus some extras. I put tassels on the end. And this is a great way to use up beads in your stash. It's easy, easy to do. And I just did little blacks of color, you know, uh, blacks of the black and blacks of the red. And I love these table cut beads. They look really nice on here. And then I interspersed some of the brass and some of the hearts and a little of the white beads. And what I like about these is A, they're easy to do and B, they're easy to wear. And you don't have to worry about sizing. And I think it makes a very dramatic looking set because you've got this nice pile of beads and uh, you get the stacking look that everybody loves in one bracelet. And it's very comfortable to wear. I, I keep, I'm on the keyboard a lot in my day job. So I love to wear bracelets, but sometimes they get in the way. But I find with the memory wire bracelets, I don't need to worry. And this is a great, uh, for any of you that are super new at making jewelry, this is the way to go when you're starting to make bracelets because it literally is just takes a few tools and then you just string the beads on and you could do that in front of the TV, listening to some music on your lunch break at work. You could take a pile of beads onto you onto a plane with you and do it while you're flying somewhere. Um, and I think it turns out really nice and you can just add little elements of interest. We've got this little rose here. And like I said, the heart beads, I did use some of those black beads that I thought I might make another earring out of. I ended up using them in the bracelet and uh, so on and so forth. So tonight we're gonna do another memory wire bracelet because I really, Love the way that looks. And I think, you know, it'll be a nice impact um, picture on the Etsy shop to show all three together. Obviously they'll be listed separately, um, but I'm gonna try to look up and see, like, I'm not sure if you can offer a discount if somebody were to buy a set of something. So I have to research that. That's something I'm not familiar with since I'm still so new with the Etsy shop. Um, I do know there's a spot where you can suggest, com you know, combining things, but we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, uh, tonight, so let me move this because we've looking, looked at that nice, pretty set. I really do love it. Um, I think it's going to be, once the necklace is all finished off, it's going to be a spectacular looking set. So tonight we're going to work on the companion bracelet for this necklace, which has these earrings, the copper and the blue. I got a lot of, a lot of compliments on this. I, I agree. I think it's really, really gorgeous. So I got myself a pile of beads and we're going to do the same thing, similar to what I did for the Queen of Hearts necklace. Also, I think I'm going to try to come up with names of these so that they have a catchy title on the Etsy shop. Um, I don't know if I'll go with um, uh, I was thinking ladies names. Let me know in the comments what you think about like using women's names you know, just as a way to describe the necklace or do I just want to I mean, like Queen of Hearts necklace sounds generic, so maybe we might want to call it, I don't know, the Priscilla necklace or, you know what I'm saying? Like maybe this could be Emily. I don't know. I see that done places. It's just a way to give the piece more personality, I thought. But let me know in the comments what you think about that or not. If that's just a waste of time, because... It's about the piece, not necessarily what I'm calling it. <laughs> so here is our pile of beads. 
I went through my stash and I grabbed more, you know, of things that I used in the necklace and in the earrings. And then I added some other things. Uh, I found these uh, cone beads I thought would be nice at the beginning and the end of the bracelet. So I'm going to pull those out. This piece was in the bracelet, I mean the necklace. And I thought like sort of the center of the bracelet, maybe we would use this. And uh, then I've just got blue beads, more of these beads that are half and half like I used in the necklace. Uh, lots of copper, brass, you know, just coordinating things. We've got a really pretty pearl here. And I thought on the ends of the necklace, we would do little dangles, maybe with these really pretty check beads. These are too long to fit. They won't work on the memory wire because they're too long. Any of you that have worked with memory wire, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and you gotta be careful of pearls too. This is not a real pearl, so I think we won't have trouble getting this on here. But um, freshwater pearls, I know, are drilled, and some gemstones too are drilled too tiny to fit. So just keep that in mind if you're gonna be doing gemstones. So I'm literally just gonna to toss our beads on the table or on the mat. And I just did blocks of color, like I said. So to get started, for those of you who are new and have not used memory wire, I did cut this earlier and it comes in a spool and you wanna cut it with actual wire cutters. Do not use your regular cutters, you will ruin them. You wanna use something more heavy duty like these. And these are my regular cutters like for, for wire and uh, beading wire and thread and maybe head pins. But when you're getting into memory wire, this is steel and it will ruin your regular your regular cutters. So use heavy duty ones. They're literally called wire cutters. These are by Zuron. You can get them on Amazon. And uh, and the other thing you need is a round nose uh, set of pliers because we're gonna make a loop on the end. So once I, once I decided how many, um, let me back up a bit. Once you've got this cut, and you want to think about how many times around the wrist, basically. I try to do at least three full loops and then, as you can see, and then the ends. And the ends are nice because you put a little loop at the end with your round nose and you can hang charms like we did on this bracelet. Uh, I hung, you don't have to just hang them there, but it's a nice way to finish them off. I just hung some tassels. You can hang other things, charms and things also. I may do that on some others. We'll take a look and see. But basically, once you have it cut the way you want, then you're gonna put a loop. I'm gonna figure out what end to do here. You wanna loop one end so your beads don't slide off. And you just literally take your round nose and uh, it, this does take some effort because it is uh, tempered steel. It's gonna keep this shape so it doesn't wanna, it's gonna fight you a little. So make sure you have a good grip on it and you're just gonna make a loop. Just like that. So that's gonna be the bottom. So as we're stringing these, we're gonna slide them down to the bottom of this. So I'm gonna get started here. I did say I wanted to use these bead caps. So I'm gonna take a smaller bead first to kind of stop this from hitting the loop. Let's see, I think I'll do a little copper, one of these little guys. And then you just basically string your beads on any way you want them. So what I like to do, this is just me personally, you can do a pattern if you want. I like to do blocks of color. I think visually it looks good to do blocks of color and then break it up with um, 
like some metal like we've got a little metal spacer bead here this is like an antique copper and then to get started and this is kind of fun you just kind of rotate this around until your beads end up and gravity is your friend when you're doing this too you just let them slide down like this And you can kind of hang on to them. So there's your, like the beginning. You can even scoop them up like this if you want. With this end of your wire. Like I can grab this guy right here. And maybe I'll grab another bicone. And another. And you just kind of let gravity again do its thing and so now we have the beginning of our bracelet so we'll keep going and if you ever watch misty moon designs louisa louisa chanel i hope i pronounced her name right i really love her um i'm a fan and i do subscribe to her channel she came up with the most ingenious thing that i have got to buy and i want to try it on this channel let me know in the comments if you have it but she designed, I mean, she's amazing. Um, her designs are beautiful. And she pretty much engineers her pieces. She thinks like an engineer. But she came up with a whole system. If you wanted to do a pattern or have these set a certain way, she has, I think it's called the Coil Buddy on her, I think she has an Etsy shop. Anyway, you can message her uh, Misty Moon Designs or... I think I will look and see if she has an Etsy shop and I will link it. She has this thing called the Coil Buddy and she literally has a patent on this and you can, um, she has these rods where you load the beads on and that way you can pick a pattern before you even put them on your memory wire. And she has like a whole chart that uh, comes with it and she, instructions on how to use it. And it is the most ingenious thing. I, I really want to get my hands on that. So uh, that's on my wish list. And when I get it, we'll try it on camera. She has demonstrated it many times. I've watched her on her channel. And it's the coolest thing. So uh, I obviously don't have that here tonight. So I'm just doing blocks of color. But if you want a more precise pattern, that is the way to go, I think. And it's just ingenious. I just... Shout out to Louisa, because A, she's lovely, um, and I love watching her. She has a very cool beading area, and I think it's in her basement, and um, her cats are so funny. Lulu and Boo Boo, they try to sit on her bead mat all the time, and it's just a very lovely channel. So I will link all that in my description, but I'm pretty sure if you're watching me, you have watched her. <laughs> But I do want to get my hands on that coil body, buddy. And if any of you have that and you're using it, let me know. Let me know in the comments because I would love some feedback. I think it's really cool. Um, cool idea. And I love that, you know, be, you know, we're the creative people that make the jewelry. So the fact that she invented um, that particular system, I think is just really cool. Shout out to her. All right, so I'm going to keep going. Uh, there's no rhyme or reason to what I'm doing, okay? I'm not trying to get super precise about anything. Uh, I may do blocks of color. I might sandwich something in between something else. But the nice thing about this is you don't have to come in with a plan if you don't want to. And if you do, then you get the coil buddy. <laughs> Make your life easy. Um, let's see. In the beginning, you know, you kind of have to hang on to it a little bit. But as you go, um, the gravity... Now, this bead's kind of long. I don't know. I may... Or may not be able to use this. We'll see. I thought it was pretty. But yeah, see, that's too long. The long ones, 
Um, we'll save those for something else. But um, you want shorter beads, of course, um, because if they're long, they don't, you know, they don't bend with the coil. So I can't believe it's Wednesday already. If you saw it at the beginning of my video, that is a lot of ice. I mean, nobody's going anywhere. The streets have been super quiet. We live by a school, but of course they haven't had school because uh, nobody, I don't care who you are, can drive in ice. And we had freezing rain. And I think we've been in the 20s the last, I don't know, three, four nights. So yeah, nobody's going anywhere. And so hot cocoa has been right up the alley and uh, we're just staying inside. The dogs won't even go out. <laughs> they look at me like, there's no squirrels even. Why do you want me to go out here? <laughs> Thank goodness I have little dogs, uh, but we have to put papers down, of course, because they don't want to go. I can't say I blame them, but you know. Uh, we're not used to this weather here. Now, it's nothing like, I'm, I'm glad, in 2021, we had terrible uh, rolling blackouts. Our power grid almost went, and um, we didn't have power. I remember every day we had power for like an hour, and or two if we were lucky. And so every day until that time, we were under the blankets. And I mean, every blanket in the house, because the house, I think, was 40 degrees. It was really cold. And you you couldn't really see your breath, but, man, it was close. And, um, you know, we'd have to decide, are we going to take a bath? Or are we going to cook something? <laughs> Because you had limited time, just enough time to charge up your phone, heat something up on the stove, and maybe run through the shower, and then you didn't have power again. And that went on for like six days, and it was miserable. So at least we don't have that going on. Thank goodness. Thanks, Mom. We're still picking beads up. She just came in here and dropped beads off <laughs> that she found <laughs> from the earlier fun. You found more? You want to say hi to the... No. I mean, yes, I'll say hi. Well, you're, they can hear you. You might as well say hi. <laughs> Hello, everybody. That's mom. She saved the day for a marathon, so I know she can't hear you, but say hi back. They're saying hi back. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for bringing those beads in. Yeah. We're still finding beads all over from my... And, and you know, when you um, step on a bead, it feels like a boulder. Yes. So now you know the story of the princess and the pea. Yeah, but that was Mattress's mom, not her foot. <laughs> she still had to lay on this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you. Okay. <laughs> There's your lesson of the day, people. Princess in the pea. <laughs> oh. We amuse each other. What can I say? But yeah, I'm in, all day long. The last few days, actually. Because I work my day job in here. She's coming in with beads. Oh, we're going to probably be finding them for weeks. So I'm kind of at a point now where uh, I'm just taking a look to see, do I want to add some other colors? And this is a pretty limited palette on this bracelet. So I think I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to add some more, I think I'm going to add some more copper, actually. Do a line of copper. Let's do some of these really cool. I love the texture on these. Um, they're barrel beads. But these work because they have a nice big hole and they have a really cool kind of cutout section. 
Let's do a bunch of those. But it is fun. It's almost kind of meditative, too, because you're just watching the beads swirl around and, you know, it's not, um, I guess the biggest, as you can see, I'm just kind of trying to get them, once you get it started, getting the bracelet started and then just hold on like that, then you can keep stringing. So let's see, let's do, let's do a, Ooh, that's pretty. Well, I was gonna, so some of these, like I found these bead caps, I thought they'd be pretty with this pearl bead. And there was another big bead, here it is. I'm kind of gonna put these in the center of the bracelet. I'm not quite there yet, I'm close. Probably another couple of, let's see. So as I'm holding this, I'm gonna want them kind of like, right here. So we still got a ways to go here. So let's see, let's do some more black beads. I think of slinkies too, I'm, I'm sure you do too when you're looking at this. Uh, I like these a lot too. These are really pretty. Grab another couple of those. I may have to find some more beads. You don't realize how many beads are on these bracelets till you make one. <laughs> you think you've pulled enough and I think that's all I have of that one. Let's do a couple of these. Oops. So yeah, we're just trying to stay warm. Let's see, we've made we've made clam chowder now. We've made chili. I think we've made some chicken soup. And then we did baked potatoes for some of the chili. We're eating all the comfort foods with this cold snap we've got going. And uh, I was on a, a roll baking last weekend, but I have a feeling, I have a feeling that's going to be uh, another Saturday of baking. Something about the cold weather makes me want to do that. I don't know about you. All right, let's see. A couple more. I may have to go off camera and find some more beads, you all. I think the big ones should take up some of the room. Oh, and uh, the other thing I'm doing when I'm stacking these is I'm doing odd numbers. I just think that looks better. So I think I'm gonna come in with this really big gold bead. And If you have just like one set of bead caps, this is a nice way to use them up. I don't think I have any more of these. And so I could use each one in an earring, but I thought it would be pretty sandwiched amongst that pearl, that blue pearl. And we'll put our gorgeous, I love these. I wish I remembered where I got those. I think I, think I did get these at, um, uh, Hobby Lobby. All right. Moving right along. I'm going to save that for the end. I think I'm going to come back in with three of those. Oops. 
a little off in the dismount there. <laughs> now you can see that gravity is helping me because now we've got enough beads on here that it's weighing this down. So it's going to be much easier to string these now. And here's where it gets really quick and fun. Let's see, we'll add some more. Three more of those. All right. I did pull these little charms out too. Don't know if we'll use them or not, but I thought they were pretty. Let me put those to the side. I kind of have a random brass bead here. It's a great way for using up beads. You can just throw, you know, you got one of something. If it's kind of meets the colorway, you can throw it in there. Why not? Let's do some more copper. All right, some more blue. This very light blue is so pretty. It's kind of a milky, I don't know, sky blue maybe? It's kind of a sky blue. A couple more of these. Let me just take a look here. Oh, that still has some of the little plastic on it from the string. There we go. I'm liking the way that looks. It's looking good. Let's see. Let me do a bead cap. This uh, one blue bead is bigger than the rest, so I'm going to give him... We'll give him a little bead cap. And I like the mixture of the bright copper and the antique copper. I think that adds a nice look. Running out of beads. Hold your breath. If you do run out of beads and you're close to the end, you can just make the bracelet a little shorter. I don't think that's a big deal. It's all up to you what you want to do. Do a little saucer bead here. Let me take a look. I think the blocks of color look very nice. Again, it gives you that stacked look. Actually... I'm going to do a couple daisies. Let's get some texture going on the end of this. It's a great place to do stacked daisy beads. Hishi beads, too. You know, the flat hishi beads. Let's see. Let's do some more blue. Also, if you have a lot of something, uh, this is a great way to use that up as well. Just adding some little fluted copper beads now. We're getting to the end. Looking good. Now I'm running out of beads and I have about that much left. Let's see, 
if I can find some more. I think I can. Yeah. We're about to have a little bit, of, a little avalanche. Not a big one. Just a little one. I think we'll add... A little blue bead there. And let's see. Nope. Here we go. Here's some more of these. Looking to see if I have one more. Hello. Ah. Right in front of me. <laughs> that figures. <laughs> okay. Five of those. Let's do another copper. Looking pretty good. If I can find the little hole there. These are cool too. They have a little texture on them. Let's see. I think I have another one. There we go. All right, getting to the end. Okay, I think I want some more dark beads, and I think I do have more of those as well. Yeah. One nice thing is you can just dump your beads out, and uh, you don't have to be super neat. But as you can see, this does take a lot of beads, so that's something to consider when you're pricing. Even though this is a simple technique, you know, it does take time to make, and it does require quite a few beads, so keep that in mind if you're ever going to do a store or a shop, because that is important to keep in mind. Let's see. And there's lots of philosophies on pricing. And I'm by no means the expert. I have a tough time, I'll be honest, pricing my pieces. Um, I will go into that more when we um, actually load the Etsy shop. Um, I do come up with the prices before I load them on there. Uh, and I'll, we'll walk through that. I would just say this as you, as just a, something to chew on before we get to that point, um, that 
you've created this. This is one of a kind handmade item, which is why people shop on Etsy. And uh, if they wanted something mass produced and a mass produced price, which I, I'm not knocking it. I, I like mass produced stuff as much as the next person, but that's not the platform for Etsy, right? So you have to think about the fact that you created this, it's one of a kind, you're one of a kind, and basically this is art to wear. Think about that. It's art to wear, right? A lot of thought goes into a piece that you make. You've learned about color theory. You've put a lot of thought and time into whatever it is that you've made, and you, you should be pricing your pieces to reflect that. And I know that that is hard because you think to yourself, I don't know if I could really ask this much for this piece or whatever, but I'm telling you, you're going to do yourself a disservice if you undervalue your work. And I've had people in bead stores that own bead stores tell me that, that sell their items. And one lady actually told me that she couldn't sell a piece and she ended up increasing the price and then sold it. So think about that. <laughs> so we'll get there. But I just want you to think about that. All right. So now we're kind of at the point where I need to put this other. Remember we did the bead cap on the end here. The cone. So now I've got that there. And I'm just eyeballing it to see if I need to. Maybe I'll add one more bead. You need enough room to make your loop. And I think, I'm thinking I better just leave it where it is. And I don't have any more of the beads I had in the end, but I do have one of these guys. So we'll put him on there. And now we're gonna make our no, another loop. Well, maybe one more bead. One more. It's kind of a guessing game a little bit. And remember, this is a tough wire. So, all right. So look at that. And I love that you can just Literally, just wrap it, right? <laughs> Very pretty. And then, here, let me turn it around so you can see the, the focal beads as they were. We'll do some drops. Uh, that's a designer's choice. Tassels are nice because they're soft. I may, I may hold off. I was going to hang these, but I think I'd like to keep these for earrings. I think I would like something more soft on the end of this. So um, I will probably find some tassels and add tassels to this. Or maybe just do a small little bead or charm or something. It's a great place to hang charms as well. Um, if I can find something like a little, another one of those little copper hearts, maybe, or we'll just, I'll just have to check and see, but I just want you to see, you know, in its entirety, how to do this. And, oh, you know, I just realized these are, um, like a deep red and gold, these beads, but they look great. Are those red in here too? <gasps> they are. Okay. Well, I don't think there's a red, any red in the pendant, but I don't think that looks bad. I think it looks really good. It's a very, very dark red. I thought it was black. <laughs> but hey, I'm not mad at it. I like it. So let me scoop this stuff over. Scoop. Scoop. Let's take a look at our finished... So that just makes a nice little stack there. 
I know I have more of these hearts. Uh, maybe we'll do some dangles on the end of that bracelet with those. But here is our second. It's coming together, isn't it? Our sets. Looks very nice. So, uh, I have more. Let's see, that was two bracelets. So we got eight more bracelets to make, plus we need to finish off our... We're going to need to figure out how we're going to finish off each necklace. And this one I have to restring, which I don't want to forget about uh, because of the bead cap and the missing bead up here. So... Tomorrow night, I think maybe we'll play with some stretchy bracelets with a few of these. And then uh, we'll finish up bracelets tomorrow night. That's Thursday night. So that'll be night five of our marathon. And then Friday night, let's see, tonight's the fourth night. Tomorrow's the fifth night. So Friday will be the sixth night. So Friday, we'll finish up everything. We will finish off the necklaces. We will make sure everything, you know, doesn't need to be restrung. And um, what I'm hoping for Saturday is that it's sunny. And the reason why I say that is because before we load these things on Etsy, you have to take photos. And these items look way better in the natural light. And I have a spot in my bedroom where I actually photograph the pieces. I have a mannequin set up there. And Etsy allows you to load up, I think it's five or six different views, and they, they say as many views as possible. So you want some close-ups of some things, but I just find that the pictures look better um, for that platform in natural light. So my hope is that Saturday I can videotape or just walk you through my setup. I can't, I don't have enough equipment to show you as I'm taking the pictures, but I can show you my setup and what I think about and how um, the lighting looks in there so you get an idea. You'll see for sure. Uh, if you've been on my shop, you'll see already some pictures of some pieces. I did those in my bedroom window with natural light. So the only problem with that is you have to have, of course, the sun out and you have to be in the window at the right time. Other than that, um, they look really good. So that's going to be, Saturday is going to be taking pictures, hopefully. And then, um, we're going to load up the Etsy shop on Sunday. So we're just going to continue with the marathon. I think my doggy needs me. Thank you so much for watching tonight. Stay tuned for more bracelets tomorrow. I think we'll do stretchy bracelets, a couple of them. And then, uh, probably some, I'm going to keep going with the, uh, I like the, <laughs> the memory wire. So we'll keep going with that as well. So stay tuned. Uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, if you're not subscribed, we'd love to have you. And uh, see you tomorrow night.